Well, it's been a year since eight-year-old Khalil Singleton was shot and killed in his grandmother's backyard on Hilton Head. Local Tribune Bureau Chief Larry Spruill sat down with his grandmother today, and how's she doing, Larry? Overall, pretty good. She says, although it's been a year since he died, it's been good and bad days, Jennifer, which yeah, is understandable. Yeah. Mm. But overall, she says she is slowly getting by one day at a time. And I was sitting in the chair, and I hear a lot of gun shoot. Somebody says, call me. Do you hear the gun shoot? Edvina Washington remembers the tragic details of September the 1st, 2012. So I touched him. He had some blood on his mouth, and I touched him on his leg. Like that. Mm, but, and I, I would like blank. I mean, I would like, I mean, I would like out of it. I mean, I was out of it. Now, a year later, those last moments of her eight year old grandson dying in her backyard are now coming back. Well, I just can't believe it that he is gone. I just can't believe it. And right now, I can't believe he is gone. Four men, 19 year old Aaron Young Jr. His father, 36-year-old Aaron Young Sr., 35-year-old John Two Singleton, and 37-year-old Tyrone Robinson were arguing when shots went off that day in the area of Allen Road on Hilton Head. This is where 8-year-old Khalil Singleton died over a year ago, and his grandmother says this memorial will help his memory live on. Every month for the past year, Washington goes to this spot where Khalil was shot and killed. I have to go every month. Just go there, either clean it up, uh, put flour on it every month. I just have to do it. And although it has been a year, Washington says. I, I miss seeing him. I miss, miss talking to him. I just miss playing with him. I'm, I just miss, I just miss him. And since Khalil's death, 37-year-old Tyrone Robinson and 19-year-old Aaron Young Jr. were charged with the murder. Also, both Aaron Young Sr. and Jr. were charged with a conspiracy to commit the murder of Tyrone Robinson. And Jennifer, I talked to solicitor Duffy Stone earlier today, and he says the murder cases against all three men are currently pending in the court system right now. Such a sad story. It is. Cute little boy. All right, thanks, Larry. Yeah.